Dooby doo. <coughs> oh, hey, <laughs> there we are. Victoria, look yeah, at that. I'm check how I looked with a dark screen. All right. <laughs> we need a little more light over there. What can we do about that? That's all right. Uh, you talk. Uh, Me free talk. All that Hi. stuff. Hi. Emmett. One, two, a three. Flashlight here. Come on. All right. So join us for Feel It Real Fun. This is episode number... 367. Crap. All right, three, six, seven. That's oh, this will right. work. This will be good. Leah, who was on the call Leah, yesterday? Leah, Cindy, Brisket Bob. All right, now if you wow. shine that at that. Yes. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> All right, look at that. Okay. Right, does next month. Angela, right. Barbara Brown. Downtown, Downtown. with Barbara Kimberly Brown. Bob's. Catherine has joined us. Bob, Cindy, hello. hello. Sinead. Boy, we've got some really good e reader email questions today. Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay. He's not coming up. We'll just do the show. <laughs> All right. All right. Arafani. Hello, Julie Arafani. From Missouri. Julie from Missouri. Sinead. Oh, that's good. Julie from Missouri. That Julie from Missouri. Yeah. What I mean sounds like is, a John Prine song. If you well, guys don't know John Prine, that you're can missing be Julie's out. nickname. Is what I mean. Yeah. Because I like having them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> okay. Julie from Missouri. Uh, Abundant right. Angela. You hold that on your lap because that gives just enough <laughs> freaky light. It's yes. Like, it's so like, fine. Oh, sorry. No, look in, look in the thing. Look in the thing. Ready? Uh, right. she, look, she's going to channel Neville now. <laughs> okay. Can you believe that there's somebody out there? Uh, Archangels, Neville, and Purple Rocks. I'm serious, right? Yes. <laughs> Dude, you missed the whole point. Oh, anyway, top of the day, topping. You're loving topping, the ripples of yes. Topping, topping, Excellent. topping. Yeah, Hello, right. Joe, without me. Oh yummy yes. <laughs> yummy yes. Is and too. Julie from yummy Missouri. Yummy yes is coming over is, in a while. Yes, is <laughs> making her way through the conference call. Oh my call. god. Yeah. <laughs> Was that amazing or what? Two freaking hours, guys. Yeah, wow. Hold it there. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> freenevel.com, all that stuff. Okay, let's do yes. some reader bits. Oh, so we got Reddit questions. Yep. I love them. Okay. All right. So on, uh, one, two, three. He's not coming. We'll just do the show. Okay. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> that was like a star bright then. All right. So let's start with uh, Angela says, if I want to tell my students and clients about you yes. and Neville, yes. sending them to freenevel.com. Is that cool? Absolutely. Right. Please we appreciate do. that. It's probably the easiest way for them to learn a little bit about us. And yes. to actually learn Neville, because like there is seriously some amazing batshit crazy stuff out there. When like seriously, yeah, <laughs> yeah. people tell me what they've learned from other Neville coaches. Right, really, God, <laughs> right, Bruce Hogan Shaw. All right, here. Bruce off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. so all right, little Emmett's yeah, just down there. That. You can sort of see. Yeah, we talked about the Police Academy shows. Mm -hmm. So since this is a small print, they're making Victoria squint. Are you serious? There's no way I can read that. Look at, her, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her channel level. This is great. Say yes. something about purple rocks and being ordained to teach them. No, 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 no. Look there. Look, right. Look, look. <laughs> we have purple rocks. All right. Yeah. We are the only ones ordained to teach about them. That's right. right. <laughs> so okay. Brisket Bob says, "How do you deal with everyone else's imagination?" I don't. We were in Katy, a suburb of Houston, and so much devastation around us. But we worked into the night to manifest a flood-free home. <clears throat> the thing is, the storm is still floating over us, and I want it gone. Oh, my God, mm. this is a good one, Bob. Mm. So uh, if you go to NevilleGutterQuotes.com, you're going to see a quote about these, uh, called the spiral principle or something. Just type the word spiral in the search box yeah. at NevilleGutterQuotes. Yeah. And Neville says, you're here to experience the horrors of this world, not to, I don't know, alleviate, erase them, right? In other words, uh, it's perfect the way it is. Yes. There are people out there that actually, uh, and again, this is almost a side tangent, but yeah, seriously, I needed a, a riot in 1989. Yes. Right? Oh. Uh, being born three months early, right? I don't want to change that. Yeah. Right? So, like, you, we all have these, quote, unquote, Experience. incidents, uh, right? Yeah. That are the result of prior imaginings. Yes. Uh, and when, you know, and really, you're giving yourself gifts, so, like, mm. yeah, seriously, I find it really cool that uh, literally you say uh, you worked into the night to manifest a flood free home. Cool. I think that is like, whoa, Arafani is the official link guy today. Where's Will Perry? <laughs> so, Arafani, good on you, pal. Thank you. Yeah. So, so, get how cool this is. You manifested you what you have chosen. There are other people that are going, oh my God, oh my God. I hope Trump, Trump ain't going to bail us out. This is going to be just like Louisiana, whoever was president back then, right? It's going to suck, 
right? And, and people are going to get what they need. That way they can go, holy crap, Bob had a flood-free house for some reason. Yeah. Okay. I complained about Trump for some reason. Yeah. Right. So, so, so that's what's cool. Right. So you can manifest 20 or 200 or 2000 or 200,000. You can manifest, you know, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you're feeling. Yeah. See with Bob, because, uh, well, I was just going to say with Bob, he was imagining a flood free home yep. yeah, that everything would be okay. And then he moved into doing what needed to be done, working through the night. To have right. a flood free home. By the way, we don't even know if that's uh, working physically or imaginally or both. Yes. Uh, again, we imagine businesses uh, that are right yeah. doing this. Yeah. And we do things. Yeah. Right. But we also do things, and for some reason, they work. There are other people that do seriously the exact same things we do. Yeah. Right. I know people that have been doing what I do online for longer than me. They know more than me. And for some reason, I still haven't made $10 online, they tell me. And it's like, really, you're not doing what I'm doing. Right. Oh, yeah. So even if you are, if you imagine like actually succeeding, you may end up doing something entirely different. Bob said physically, the family all cool. Excellent. Yeah. So again, physical is uh, there's almost another side thing. I got an email from a fellow the other day that says, if this is true, that means I can imagine anything and do nothing. And it's like, why don't yeah. you read this article? Because Neville yeah. says the illusion of free will you know, it comes down to what you can do is choose the state you live in. Mm. Once you choose the state you live in, she chooses Loving Gardener. She mm. chooses Yogini. Mm. Uh, she's going to find herself doing things from that state. Mm. The rest of the whole canoodle is going to be doing things from that state. But you also get someone that goes, right, I'm going to be a fat Cheeto eater. And, and, and God, I'm 50. It's game fucking over. Guess yeah. what? <laughs> Man, my joints hurt. Where are yeah. the Cheetos? Oh, I don't feel like getting out of my chair. Where are the Cheetos? Yeah. So, boom. Yeah. Leah says, imagine you and your family safe, Bob. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So that's a goodie. Yes. Anything else you want to toss in Victoria? Uh, no, just uh, you, you basically said it, but like we always say, um, just imagining and then locking yourself in the cupboard is not the way it works. It's moving from that state. Yeah, so, you're you're yeah. going to be moved yeah. in some way, even if it's just to be still. Mm. Uh, the and, and again, the, don't try to figure out the house. Anyone. Again, this is not just for Bob. This is inspired by Bob's request. But seriously, just imagine what you choose. Right. And by the way, this is the only one that's really requests. So uh, if anybody else got requests, toss them up. Yes. So uh, we'll just turn this thing off. Hmm. But uh, yeah, just uh, it, here's what I notice. If you move, everything moves. And this is not a bumper sticker, please, in the name of all that's holy, which is you don't make it a bumper sticker. But if you move, everything moves. Yeah. Uh, th that's it. it you're, you'll feel something has moved. You'll notice things have moved. Yeah. But if you don't move and you're going, well, I hope it's happening out there someplace, you haven't moved. Mm. There's the cool thing. Mm. Okay. So, so, so really, really, uh, anyone playing with this, uh, do that. So, okay. Uh, all right. No requests. No requests, <laughs> guys. Wow. Surely this is going to be the shortest show ever, guys. <laughs> yeah. So let's toss another thing out. Ready? Yep. So uh, you got to move. Mm. You move, everything moves. Don't let it be a bumper sticker. Notice, right? There's power in noticing if yes. you've moved, and then you get to notice everything. Uh, good. Where was I going, Victoria? Toss something up or ask me a question because I lost my thought. Uh, I can't ask you a question, but because um, we've talked about you move, then everything moves, um, but it's not a bumper sticker. Um, Bob says it follows action. It follows action. D sorry, don't know, Bob. I am moved. Thank you, Daniela. <laughs> All right. What do you got? Uh, KJ, move to knowing one is healthy then. Cool. Uh, don't know... Uh, what that means. Cool. Well, see ya. Freenovel.com. <laughs> Have a lovely day, everyone. <laughs> Joe Moon with our knees says, get the feel at real power pack. Then you'll learn. Then you'll move. <laughs> Karen says, yeah. would you say moving is a way of saying yes? Absolutely. Here's the thing. You're saying yes to something all the time. You really are, right? And, and, and when you get that, either it, you know, you're opening to something or you're saying yes to that, okay? 
Yeah, th this is really how simple this mm. is. By the way, and I and I hate saying that because people go, right, I got it, I'm doing it, I'm not doing it, yeah, I'm getting no results. If you're not getting re the results you want, you're not following the formula. And, and, and the thing is, uh, I, I had three chats this morning with people, right? Yeah, help me. Tell me what you're doing. Uh, what do you mean, what am I doing? Yeah, it, it, seriously, three different chats this morning, right? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And in the end, okay, every single one of them is not following the formula. They're adding in heaps of stuff and leaving heaps of stuff out. And, and, the, and the thing is, right, so, so matter of uh, KJ says, gee, so I'm not still following the formula. I don't know. Here's the thing. If you're manifesting health, long before the doctor told me I had normal blood pressure, long before my elbows were pain-free, you know, long before I've healed myself of at least a dozen doctor-diagnosed conditions, no. yeah, I felt something moved, right? There was no, I hope, all right? Mm -hmm. If you're in that, that's called doubt, right? Hope is doubt. The other thing is faith. And again, I did a little podcast on this yeah, where I said, give up faith. Because when most people say faith anymore, yeah. what I hear is, I have faith. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> right? The faith I'm talking about is knowing. When you yeah. know. Yeah. There was a goody quote that I read yesterday. It wasn't there on Facebook. Someone had posted, but it was just about faith and hope that those two words are still leaving out there in the future like it's not yep, done. That was, yeah, that was, and, yep. yeah. So, yeah, don't have faith. Don't hope it's going to be okay. And again, so it's, it's, it's not the words. That's the thing. People yes. say, I believe this. No, you don't. I watch your physiology. I watch what you write. I, I, I just notice things. And, and the thing is, when you know, you know. So yesterday, Victoria shaved Emmett's ass. Yes, sorry, I was reasoning uh, loud. Uh, yes, yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> You'll be uh, impressed. Okay. Unbelievable. Okay. It was actually a little trim. I wrote about this in the group, but this is really important because, again, go back 100 shows, go back 200 shows, listen to the puppies. Okay. You, we couldn't shave his butt. Before, basically, we put the cone on him. I'd restrain him using holds that I learned from the groomer. You know, you know Russell or Builder would go in there and snip or, or, or not fun. <laughs> Yesterday, I just tossed him up on my lap. I put the cone on him just in case. But real quick, boop, I didn't even need the cone. He just stood there. I gently held him. You know, no gers, no nothing, no struggle, no fear. You know, bang, that's it, done, right? And, and this is what's cool. We've, we're loving puppy parents. That's a, that's a home state. We imagine things for him and for Bruce, little sub things, right? Like being able to trim his nails and shave his butt and so on and so forth. And here we are yesterday having a whim. Uh, mm. that Yasmin says Ashley is next. <laughs> I don't know if that has to do with the butt shaving or not. <laughs> That's up to you guys. Don't want to know nothing about that, right? I'm not going to scan the comments. Leah says Jersey guy. So we got Jersey guy and Ashley when we're talking about butt shaving. <laughs> All right. Now, Lana said something, and I know it's totally slipped off, and it was something about um, she, but, but, they notice there's too much effort in their sessions. And um, what are the alarm signals um, to notice that? So if there's effort in your sessions, that, that that's, seems that's to your indicate alarm. me, <laughs> yeah, that you're trying to force something or you haven't nailed what it, what the feel at real sessions are. What, what are you imagining? What's the state you move, you've moved into and you're staying in, yeah? Because yeah, totally. that's what I get from that. But if there's more to that, Lana, PM20, yeah, yep. or I'll toss it up now, but I noticed as soon as we said that, then all of a sudden, bang, I'm yep. trying to clock all these comments. Angela says, I rise above the pain, uh, go to the sky, look at my body from above. Don't do that. Okay. That's a coping mechanism. Okay. So, you know, you know, floating above your body, looking around, drive your car while doing that. You can't live life doing that. No. Uh, so the difference between I'm going to do what it takes to deal with this today or move into the state of my wish fulfilled. Okay, to do it. So, so if you have $10, right, and you're imagining being a millionaire, okay, you don't go right. My plan is to keep, uh, I got to be concerned about this $10 versus moving into the state of knowing you create financial freedom. Little tiny things. By the way, I've taught all these things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've, I've taught dissociation, double dissociation, double dissociation with a 90 degree twist. I mean, yeah, seriously, I'm pretty fucking good at that stuff, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I noticed something. You want to make some money? 
You want to actually enjoy, you know, bumping uglies with someone, you know, practicing double dissociation will have you doing long division while you're trying to make a baby. <laughs> the two don't mix. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria goes. <laughs> right. So KJ, you move into health, but body is acting up. How do you, so bring it all back home, KJ, instead of you, I'm. Yeah, so now you push. Yeah. So just nice. keep bringing it home. But if I replace those, I'm moving to health, but my body is acting up. How do I stay in a healthy body if the physical body is not doing it? By the way, so here's what's cool. Ready? Mm. So for, what I get is that you're already practic practicing dissociation. Yes. Okay. So from the pain. Yeah, which yeah, I, now, yeah. now you move into a healthy body, but is acting up. Uh, how do you stay in a healthy body if the physical is not doing it? You, you, you get it? Versus what am I choosing? Mm. I've chosen to be a professional kickboxer. Okay. I'll go back to being a teenager. Sickly kid, okay, I missed two to three months of school some years, right? The, the only reason they let me pass was that I was a smart fucking cookie, mm -hmm. right? So I'd do work at home, right? Go to school, yeah, pass, keep going, right? But the thing that made a difference in my life and why I missed almost no time my senior year, except after uh, catching mono, uh, that's another story. What's mono? Mononucleosis. Oh. Right. So, oh. so the, so how I totally changed my life was imagining what do I choose to be? That's what's really cool. You get to nail that. Oh. I'm choosing healthy body, able to work, have fun with friends and family. I can leave the house. Cool. But re really nail, what is it? Okay. What's that little tiny thing? So, and again, if it's in a scene, Yes. Yeah, I mean, kickbox, bang. Okay, okay. so, so, so mm. there's the thing, right? I, I imagine fighting with world-class people. Yes. Right? So, yeah. so bang. So, so in order for me to get there, I had to be world-class, mm. right? Again, something I'm passionate about. Still to this day, I'm 51 years old. You wouldn't, I wouldn't dare step in the ring. You know that, but I'm in bed all day. Okay, so th there's one that I love that 20, I won't mention the person, but he worked with someone. And for him, it was sitting on a park bench eating a sandwich or some eating a sandwich with his granddaughter or something like mm -hmm. that yep and i loved that that was his scene you need like you're choosing health and being able to be outside but it's like um find something that's so special for you yeah yep that yeah if, that isn't if, the lying in bed all day like what is it that you want really cool yeah if if it's horseback riding there's a difference between seeing the world from a bed or a chair or a horse there yep. what's it like you feel the horse between your legs there's going to be a smell mm. there's a perspective because you're sitting up higher mm. what's it like holding on to the leather bang fully nail that cool kj says thank you be more specific got it cool. yeah excellent yeah. Health is a concept. Here's the thing, right? I want to be wealthy, right? Oh my God, you can't believe how many times we hear that. And, so, and then we say, what do you want? Oh, I want 1.2 million something. How do you know you want that? Yeah. Well, that'll take care of my $300,000 student debt. That'll take care of this. What do you really want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's really, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I know KJ is saying you got it and excellent and need to be more specific. Yes. And just make sure that sometimes we get specific and also stay lost in our head but um it's that simple such so for that person it was sitting on the park bench for you financial freedom this big conjured word that's financial free is throwing the ball for bruce at the dog oh, yeah. park so simple it's just like yeah nothing else comes into play but by the way we go to the accountant right yeah. here's the here's the big decision guys <laughs> do we take them and leave them in the car or do we leave them at home? Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're still at the center of the thing. Uh, mm. Wow. Okay. So we put them in, you know, if it's cool out, we put them in the bimmer, go there. If it's hot out, we leave them at home. Mm. But, but, but it's just that, that's how real it is. Right? That's where you get to have fun. Let's see if I can scroll here. Yeah, because Lana said, oh, Lana so said I noticed that, that same pattern many times and have been revising, but I go back in overdoing it and don't realize it in the moment. <clears throat> revise that. Yes. Sweet. There's, okay. there's always something. 
by the way, if, if you're finding the session is forceful or you got to uh, schedule it in or something, oh, my God, I can't tell you how many times I'd be at Geibel High School and there'd be like four things that would go through my head. Making out with the chick in front of me, right? Catholic school. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Teenager, Catholic school, hot legs. Yo, right? So that's algebra class, right? <laughs> Next. Boom, right? That would go through, okay? So, you know, s since I wasn't getting anywhere with the girl in front of me, because she was actually interested in algebra, mm -hmm. right? And, and meanwhile, I'm, whoa. Right? Yeah, can I have the hall pass? Got to go poo, right? Sure. I went to poo in every class, guys. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to tell you, yeah, I'm going to tell you why, <laughs> because when I went to poo, to poo, I'd go into the loo and bang, right? I'd be stretching, kicking, doing my things. It got to the point where the vice principal, okay, Tom Doherty, took up uh, some martial art and he wanted more training, right? So he knew where to find me. So, 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 he'd, so he'd come Both in, so, 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 so Tom would sneak off whenever he had free time and he knew I spent the last 10 minutes of every class in the loo, right? <laughs> <laughs> so so he'd he'd get out and come on in and so I'm in, so I'm in the boys room right so it's me and the vice principal and somebody opens up the door by the yeah, way we scroll, scroll down. so yeah. so, so school girl uniforms <laughs> that Joe did my story <laughs> good lord yeah. uh, so 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 somebody opens up the door and all they see is Tom Doherty and I'm going whoop bang right and they're going <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. 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 The, the karate guy's taking out the VP, right? He still does it now. He, he comes up to me, goes, go on, try and hit me. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. No. <laughs> right? Yeah. So but here's the thing. Ready? I imagine I, I'd be in algebra, right? Yeah. Not getting anywhere with the girl in front of me. She actually likes algebra, right? Right? Yeah. yeah I'm imagining this. So bang. Yeah, off to the loo I go, right? I'm going to do something. So, uh, so there we go. Angela, I, I get you're really visual and you've got like all of this wonderful stuff that you can see. And I'm just wondering, how are you bringing that down into your belly? Do you because, feel the tea? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. We did a goodie on that. There's it's somewhere on free neville.com where, uh, Neville talks about drinking it in. Uh, oh, I love that, Isn't that, a gorgeous that quote. One? Yes. Angela, poke me. And I'll he find feels it. it trickle down his throat or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. about yeah. it. Yep. Oh, that'd be ace for the coffee game. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, well, that's what about... inspired that. Yes. Oh, right. So, so, so what's cool is, right, you can see yeah. that cup, cup of coffee, right? Yes. So if you're drinking coffee with me, you might see this. But do you feel that coffee going down into your belly? Do you, yes. What's it feel like? Yeah, you want Just to hanging to out. say hello. Low fevers. This has turned out to be a pretty darn good show. <laughs> Patrick says the belly is the key. Oh, somebody who's done manifesting to the max. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe that we should make that our crass commercial. Manifesting to the max dot com. My uh, God. I think Angela, that's a real goodie for you. I think save your pennies and do manifesting to the max. That's I think right. It'd help a lot. That's right. Yeah. Because it's ace all the things that you see. Save and, some pennies. I love saving pennies. You need we a way to bring it down. Boom. <laughs> it's easier to save. Uh, in Australia, we don't have pennies, but we do have one and $2 coins, but we don't have $1 bills. Now, just as a fascinating, <laughs> weird experiment, yeah. when I talk to the young kids and they say they've got change, I say, show me. And they take out their thing and they've got 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks. In the States, a little kid says they got change and I say, show me. And they show me they've got 42 cents. Yeah. Right, just for fun, change the size where you're playing. Yeah. Okay, it's the same amount of weight in the pocket. <laughs> How's that for fun? Yeah. All right, it's eight twenty-four a.m. Victoria. Okay. Anybody else anywhere? Because we do not go to the dog park today. Today I've got not one but two, but actually three coaching things going on today. That's pretty darn cool. That's yes. a rarity. Normally, that's my entire week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, just loving things for you guys who. Uh, Got the uh, Yes Method Mastermind. The live recording is up on the page. Go, Yay. go, go. Yes, we haven't listened to it yet. We decided we'd save it because we were a bit shot yesterday. Oh, yeah. We're still a little like, uh, yo. Yeah. We'll, probably, well, you got three sessions today. We'll probably listen to it tomorrow. We'll listen to a little bit today, maybe. maybe. A little bit today. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes. Victoria, tell them what to. Have we ever done the show from the dog park? Little tiny shows. Yeah, not this sort of show because uh, we 
Yeah, well, we'll tough thing in Australia. Lives. Remember, two tin, two tin cans on a string internet service. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we can do like a little five minute video, but seriously, like a one uh, hour show here streaming would definitely chew up a gigabyte of data. And uh, yeah, who knows <laughs> what it would turn out. Daniela. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Uh, what'd you learn? What'd you learn about you? <laughs> and what was your best bit? That's right. And. Go to freenevel.com. That's right. Join us in Manifesting Mastery or Manifesting to the Max. Why not? Manifesting to the Max.com. Yes. And for the refunds, go tell them where to, to go, Victoria. Feel it real fun. Dot com. Dot com. All right. Okay, Brucey. We love you guys. Thanks for a goody <laughs> show. KJ, thank you for it's your question. It's available Tossing online. Up. No, no, I don't. I don't. Um, I steal twenties profile occasionally, <laughs> just to have a look at a fish around on Facebook. Anything super nice or intelligent with punk, with proper <laughs> punctuation. It's, it's hard. <laughs> right. Anything I with the word the F comments, in it. <laughs> um, through the show, just so you know, like you all because we love our comments and every now and again, and then twenty and I, well, we watch the show and review all across uh, the comments every day, and then um, um, yes. Yeah. Right. I'll type what 20 tells if there's something we want to say. <laughs> that's right. And you type your own things too. And I type my own things too. That's right. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's it, guys. Yeah. Love you guys. Have, Have a, a wonderful day. day. You guys. For the show sharers, we couldn't see you. Thank you for sharing the show. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. It's been nice. Video will not play. Uh -huh. Oh. Hmm. wonder why. Why? Okay. Who's that from? That's Susan. Susan Anderson. Video, this video. I got no idea. Hmm. But, okay. All right. Get an iPhone. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Have a great right. night. Great Love day. you guys. Let's all go outside. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Outside? <laughs> oh. Free Neville.com. <laughs>